Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of inspiration and realness. Also, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, personality, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And now the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself from his Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Mr. Shenanigans himself and the two-time Chilling 3000 2022 End of the Year Awards winner, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, well, hello there. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. This is episode 423 of the show. How's it going, everybody? March 12, 2023, 8.31 p.m. That's right. Uh, today is the final day of my vacation. I go back to work on Monday um, with a potential winter storm coming up. And um, a lot of people, you know, well, some one of my friends joked, uh, Hey, you better do a podcast from Florida. I'm not. Well, the reason why I can't, the reason why I'm not going to Florida, one, I can't afford it, and two, uh, winter is almost over. I just, you know, a lot of people have been telling me, you know, you know, a lot of people have been telling me what the heck is going on, right? And, uh, to say the least. And just, um, you know, I am, you know, I'm personally just, um, you know, I just want to take this time to, to thank everybody for the uh, positive feedbacks at the beginning of my videos uh, since opening up this new channel as of late. I want to thank everybody for sending in me, sending me in their birthday wishes. Um, I do appreciate it wholeheartedly, to say the least. And um, this past Monday, it was it was a great day. It was probably one of the most relaxing vacations ever. I know I got a couple more vacations left to use. I've already, you know, used my, I don't know, I've already used up all my uh, vacation hours. It doesn't matter because I'm going to use them up um, for the, um, um, for the first week of April and then final week of April, final full week of April. Um, I just want to take this time to uh, thank everybody. Um, being on the internet and, and just trying to relax my mind, I forgot to tell my parents what I wanted for my birthday and I'm kind of like, you know, you know, I was kind of like, you know, with everything going on, you know what I mean? It's, it, it was crazy to say the least. Um, it was, um, this was something that, uh, um, uh, it, this was something that, uh, you know, it just, you know, and this this was uh, this vacation was totally relaxing. The the good thing about it was I didn't have to worry about getting um, two lo two um, three loads of laundry done. I usually come home on Saturday afternoon um, after getting um, getting stuff for lunch and all, and just uh, you know you know put my uh, work clothes in first, and then put my you know bed sheets in first, and then all that, and then you got. Um, I got my work clothes, which, you know, my hangout clothes, my home clothes. And I'm not going to call them hangout. I call them my home clothes. That means I clothes that I wear at home and um, just, you know. So uh, I think the beauty of also not be of uh, being on vacation was I don't have to worry about the stupid alarm clock. I didn't have to worry about the weather. The weather was nice all week, all week. And we're kind of running into a buzzsaw this coming week because of a potential potential winter storm, and it seems like um, you know if the storm shifts eastward, it seems like the totals snowfall totals could go higher. That's what we hear the South Coast. That's my my main concern. But because the temperature is being in the 40s mostly all week and all that, the ground will be too warm to probably support any snow. If it's one to three inches, we'll probably get it on grass services and car tops. We'll, we'll know for sure when we um, get to that point right now, because right now, that's where we stand, one to three inches here in the south coast, which would not be that bad, but if the weather shifts, that's when I think we may get a little bit more. We'll probably get what we got when Winter Storm Piper hit, and we almost got almost four or five inches of snow, which is no big deal. But it seems like it's like winter's last gasp of... Um, Of uh, basically, um, 
you know, win, uh, winner's last gasp. Uh, because because I think when 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 does when when the snow hits probably between Tuesday they say it's Monday through Monday afternoon and evening to Wednesday morning and well who knows for sure because the temperatures are you know there's unless the temperatures go below freezing man I don't see us getting a lot of snow but we shall see we shall see um like I said, it's, like I said, it's gonna be one crazy week to say at least make it uh, make it a comeback. I'm gonna try to keep calm about this thing. I got a haircut, so I'm coming uh, coming back to work with a new look and hopefully a new uh, perspective. I just realized something, you know, and I thought to myself when I was talking to myself on the way home from church after doing a little praying and such that I'm not paid to fall in love with the Dartmouth Mall. I get paid to work there, and you know. And the reason why I've been saying that because I've been realizing that the mall has changed over the years, and I have to admit this, and I'm going to confess this, that um, I don't like the Dartmouth Mall anymore. It's not been the same anymore. To be to be totally uh, but to be totally honest with it, and every time I go there to work there, I kind of felt a little bit miserable there. Now. Maybe you're saying, what about, you know, or do you want to go back to Swansea Mall? Obviously, the Swansea Mall's been closed. The Galleria is closed. And the Harbor Mall's been closed. Like, there's nowhere else to go, you know. But it's okay. Um, but I'm good. But I realize I'm not paid to like the mall. I'm paid to work there. And unless something uh, something better comes up or something like that, I'm, I'm going to work there for, for a long time. I mean, I've, I've been working there for 13 years. I think it's when you work over the... I think you, when you start falling in uh, love with your job and all that, when you work there for over a decade, I mean, once once ten years pass, it seems like the love for it starts to wane a little bit. You know, when well, Ruby Tuesday was a little different because it was because of the people that I work with there that made it fun for me to work there to look forward to going every year. You know, and because the people that I work with there, I had great chemistry towards them at that point. Here at the Dartmouth Mall. I mean, at the Dartmouth Mall, it has not been great chemistry. You know what I mean? And you know, we got to work together and all that. And, it got, and, and to me, that's what I—that's I, what I'm feeling. You know? But um, been a lot of change been happening for the last you know couple of years. Uh, we had you know a lot of people leaving the job, and uh, that kind of affected my you know attitude towards my own job. And that's basically, and that's basically what I need to fix is that. Um, I you know it's something that um some and, and and until I find another job this is something I'm not going to deal with for right now and uh, it's something I'm that is something I'm I'm you know I think I think it got worse for me two thousand since two thousand fourteen when I was forced to sleep over at the mall which was um not a good thing to uh, to do and I'm glad that the mall offices decided to put the kibosh on that. Because personally, you know, you know, it's fun. As, um, I tried to have some fun, but unfortunately, it was the first night of the mall. I was in tears, and I was home. I was basically homesick, and and it got to the point where I said, "That's it." You know, every time I get out of work, I'm going straight home. I'm getting out of here. I am not gonna set foot in the mall. I'm not gonna even shop there. And that's how bad it was for me. And um, you know. I, this, this is for me personally, you know. I have nothing against my coworkers or my bosses or anything like that. It's just like, that's how I. This is how it's been for me, you know, for the past what um, nine years, you know, working there. And plus, we you know I go through a lot here at home and all that, you know, too. Uh, at that time, a lot of things are factoring in. So I don't know. This may be this may be or may not be the last year I work there. I don't know. Because you know, I get concerned a lot about our mall's doing very well as far as sales and everything else, and getting people in. That's a good thing, you know. That's a good thing, you know. You know, because usually, you know, the mornings, the mornings. It's. I think it's because too the fact that you know. You know, like I said, they had February vacation recently. February vacation, and just you know. You know that added to a lot of things too. Um, a lot, a lot of things to consider, to say the least. So, um, like I said, there's a lot going on, and so going back to work tomorrow, 
I'm gonna have to go go back to work with it with a clear mindset and not worry about this potential winter storm. A lot of people are making a big deal of it. It's winter storm sage, but you know, but the way things are looking, we might we don't have to get a whole lot of snow. But if we we do, we're probably gonna have the same amount as we did with winter storm Piper. Who knows for sure? And that could put a damper on things this coming week. So I may have to make it do um, make a make a few changes. Like I may have to. Uh, Schedule the Joker's Wild, um, do a Joker's Wild episode, and then schedule it for, um, and then schedule it when I post up the video and stuff. So that's something to, that's something to consider to say the least. And um, I will keep that in mind, and I'll just do an episode, and just in case I have to stay once again late at the mall to, uh, I know it's supposed to taper off by Wednesday afternoon, so. But then it's supposed to be up in the 50s, you know, Thursday and all that. And uh, let, me, let me check, you know, let me check. There's been a lot of, um, you know, and, uh, and, uh, uh, hmm. And, uh, you know, I don't know who that's from. Um, let's, uh, I'm trying to, uh, just give me a second here, folks. It's, uh, you know, because a lot of people are saying, you know, according to early reports, we're getting, like, you know, nor'easters to bring heavy snow power outages. And, uh, it looks like, according to this, would you know according to the Boston Globe here I think uh, uh, north and uh, you know depending on, north and west of Boston could get 12 to 18 inches of snow depending on your location Boston may get up to five inches that means anything in the south coast will get a coating to two which is which is fine I can take that and every you don't see that much snow may get significant rain. You know, that's that don't see much snow may get significant rain. That means we'll probably be in the significant rain department, which I think we're gonna be okay. I believe we're gonna be alright as far as that is concerned. So that's um yeah, so that yeah, I you know I do apologize for talking about um <laughs> the weather a lot because this was the tough that's probably one of the reasons why I wanted to quit my job so much is because I keep talking about the weather, complaining about the weather, complaining about whether or not we're going to be snow and all that. And it's driving me crazy having to check the weather every five minutes on my stupid phone. So I was like, um, you know, personally, that's, <laughs> you know, um, mm. yeah. Uh. Yeah. So it's it's one of those things, and uh, so and people people are saying, move to Florida, move to Florida. I can't afford moving to Florida. In fact, winter's almost over, man. So, so yeah, what if we don't get if we if we don't see a much snow, we're gonna get mostly rain. Hey, I'm fine with that. If it's coating to two inches, probably mostly grass surfaces and car tops. I am fine with that. Fine with that. Fine with that. Um. Uh, you know, I'm just fine with that. So, uh, so, uh, yeah, let's, uh, so I'm just very, very happy. Uh, just, you know, so I'm just, you know, So I'm just uh, I'm just curious to see what's going to happen just this week, you know. And just you know, so I'm you know, I'm just very thankful. I'm up here in this brand new room. This my, it was my first vacation, in my new room, my first birthday birthday in my new room. It was a great feeling um, to have, and I'm kind of open that you know this will continue. Um, you know. I'm hoping, you know, like I said, things will, will go better when I get back. 
And I'm kind of looking, like I said, I'm honestly looking forward to my next vacation, which will be the first full week of April, like WrestleMania weekend, um, starting WrestleMania weekend. So this is a huge, um, huge deal um, here. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, I can tell. Um, it's going to be, a, but until that happens, um, if I'm, if I, if they say, hey, listen, you only need to take two weeks of vacation, which I said, well, the last week, I would have eliminated the last week of April for my vacation because the fact is that by that time, it will be May, the weather will start getting warmer and all that, and, um, like I said, a lot of things, have, a lot of things are happening, a lot of things have happened, and, um, I am very, very curious about to see what happens next, and just, uh, you know, it'll be, uh, It'll be something. But for right now, we're going to worry about March. We're halfway. We're going to be, we're going to be, we're going to be a halfway point through March. Uh, just the last full week of winter. So that's probably the reason why I think the uh, this could be a uh, winter storm stage could be the last major winter storm that we get. I'm hoping. But if we do, like, and they say, according to like the Boss Globe says, that any areas not seeing much snow will be get. We'll probably get significant rain. That's fine. That means we'll probably get a little bit of snow and then be wiped out by rain. Or, you know, we'll get, probably get a lot more rain. And uh, basically, if it, if it does snow, it'll be a coating of two inches at least. And I'm sure, I'm hoping that everybody will be dealing with that. So, um, all I can say is, uh, it's been a great week. Been a very relaxing vacation. Very relaxing birthday. Now we got to get back into reality. Get back to reality um, having a lot of fun and all that. I had a lot of fun doing this, and uh, but I know, I mean, I would have taken this vacation, but and I would have taken the vacation this week instead of uh, this past week, but to um, join up with Jordy. But I figured, you know, it's like I'm always want, I'm trying to take the week of my birthday off so I can just re have a relaxed birthday, and it's what it was for me. So I'm very, very thankful for that. So, but I don't know what's going to come up next. I'll find out tomorrow. Whatever. I'm going back to work. I think I think the I think the good side of it is is that this time around, I think it's going to get lighter out when I go out, actually driving and, uh, you know, and all that good stuff. So it's going to be very. I think the reason why they had me work inside is because at night, you know, it's still it's still dark out. It's still night out, so to speak. It's still dark in the morning and everything else. So they don't want me to be out there. That's understandable, and that's a, that's a good reason. But now it's getting lighter out. Who knows? They'll probably say you just go out, go straight outside, and clean up outside. Make sure you get the key areas and all that. I'll be fine with that. I'll be fine with that. Because the reason why I've been doing the inside job because not a lot of people are doing the. Uh, so I'm hoping that my absence makes motivates my other coworkers to do their job. That when I come back, I can do my job. They can do their job. Whatever. Hopefully, nobody quit during the time. I worked there uh, during my vacation. If someone did, I mean, we'd be in trouble for sure. And Cecil would not be very. Ha um, Cecil, our new district manager, would not be very. I think we have a new district manager. I don't know a new G GM. I don't know what's going on, but I don't care. But I'm there to work. I'm not there. I'm not paid to worry about anything. I'm. I get. I get paid there to work. Simple as that. I'm not paid there to fall in love with them all. I'm getting paid there to just clean it up. That's all I'm going to say on that matter. So. We'll see what happens, you know. And uh, tomorrow is a new, is a brand new day, brand new week. Pray that traveling mercies be upon everyone this week. That's what I'm praying. So hopefully everybody be there safe. So that's it. That's all the time we have on the show. Episode four hundred twenty three of Eric Lee Machine Shenanigans of nineteen seventy seven. And the end of end of the uh, vacation. Back to reality tomorrow. See you guys later. Until the next episode comes rolling around. God bless you guys. Subscribe, like, bell for notifications if you like to. Please tune in to the next episode. Until then, Mr. Announcer, take us home. That is all for today's episode of the show. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget production, and in association with a sweet both of raving dingleberries, telepictures, and distribution. Thank you for watching another great episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. Until the next episode, goodbye for now.